Hi friends, I am Karthik Ramendra Kate and this is Kate Tutorial. And in this class, I am going to discuss about pyrrole. Pyrrole. Pyrrole is nothing but this is pyrrole. This is pyrrole. I told the uh, impact nomenclature for this pyrrole is nitrogen means us. Since it is pi member day, it is us ole. Us ole is nothing but pyrrole. And it can be written as C C4. C4 H4 H4 NH. Nothing but the same. Pyrrole can also be written as C4 H4 NH. That is pyrrole. This is about pyrrole as well. So we should know it's a nomenclature. How to nomenclature? How to name the pyrrole? See if if this is pyrrole and if I consider this compound, if I replace this hydrogen by methyl group, then it is called as two methyl pyrrole. If I replace two hydrogens from two different groups, if this is methyl, I replace hydrogen by methyl and other one is by ethyl. We are going to get two because numbering will be one, two, three, four, five. From anti-clockwise, we number. So two methyl. 5 ethyl this is uh, that is pyrrole 2 methyl 5 ethyl pyrrole if we know e comes before that is 5 ethyl 2 methyl pyrrole it is because the uh, based on alphabet the nomenclature this compound this is about pyrrole so we need to discuss about its structure what is the orbital structure of pyrrole? This is very important. See, this is the common structure of pyrrole. As we discussed in Furan in our previous classes, it is also the same. See, all these four carbons are sp2 hybridized. sp2 hybridized means they will be trigonal planar like this. This will be the structure of sp2 hybridized orbitals. These are big orbitals having big loops whereas these are small loops. It is the sp2 hybridizer. It will be in a single plane, trigonal planar. It is looking like this. You should look like this. It will be like this. In a single plane and all angles will be 120 degree. This is the structure of all sp2 hybridizer. It is of either it is of carbon or anything. Here nitrogen is also sp2 hybridizer. This nitrogen is also sp2 hybridized. I am not going to draw the hybridization for carbon but for nitrogen let me know. Because for carbon we studied in where furan. But here see the nitrogen the atomic number is 7. 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Isn't it? This 1s2 are not going to positive participate because these are very near to nucleus. So these electrons will be bolded by the nucleus. Whereas these two, the outermost orbitals will participate in bond formation. So 2s having 2 electrons and 2p3. In exact state, this electron is going to jump to the P orbital and it is undergoing sp2 hybridizing. So we got three sp2 hybridized orbital and one unhybridized p orbital which remains perpendicular to the sp2 hybridized orbital. So there are three sp2 hybridized orbitals and one unhybridized orbital which remains perpendicular. That is, if I draw the structure, see these are sp2 hybridized of Nitrogen, one here, or let, let me draw it. One here, other one is here. This is sp2 hybridized of orbital. All are having one electron density. 
there as there will be one unhybrid ion orbital which remains perpendicular if this is in the plane is pseudo hybridized orbitals the unhybridized orbitals will be above the plane like this below the plane these are unhybridized orbitals and consist of two electrons here and i also explained in my previous class why hybridized orbital forms only sigma bond why not pi bond i have explained it you if you want to know you please you please go and watch those previous videos and videos are in serial that's it so this nitrogen is sp2 hybridized i mean see if this is the structure if this is the structure This is sp2 hybridized. This is also sp2 hybridized. This is also sp2 hybridized. But this lone pair of electrons are above the plane and below the plane. Like this, th those electrons will be there. And all these carbons are sp2 hybridized orbitals. So there will be one unhybridized p orbital like this. All these carbons contain one unhybridized p orbital, and these bonds are sp2 hybridized bonds. So these electrons see the above. The above one will react with themselves like this, and this below will interact like this. This is the interaction. If I show you like this, the same structure. If I promote like this, see, this is the structure, orbital structure of, and this. This is nothing but unhybridized p orbital of nitrogen, and these are also having unhybridized p orbital of carbons. The above plane will interact with each other like this, and these below planes. Let me show like this by dotted line. See, this is the interaction because of which the nitrogen molecule, this pyrrole. This pyrrole will be having electron cloud. This is pi electron cloud because of which these are rich in electrons, rich in pi electrons. So those will undergo electrophilic substitution because electrophiles will be electron deficient. To get electron, they are going to react with it. But the reaction will be substitution, not the addition. Why not addition? because if it undergo addition it is going to lose its aromatic character so these are undergoing only substitution reaction so so these since these are rich in electrons they undergo electrophilic substitution reaction this is the structure of pyrrole so i told this is pyrrole and the nitrogen is sp2 hybridized here in exams like jam they will ask the electrons present in pyrrole in which orbitals they are present the options will be sp3 sp2 sp and unhybridized p orbital the answer is unhybridized p orbital because these sp2 hybridized orbitals and these pi electrons remains in unhybridized p orbital the same question for furan here also they will ask see these electrons are present in unhybridized p orbital unhybridized p orbital of oxygen but these electrons are present in sp2 hybridized orbital of oxygen whereas here these are present in unhybridized orbital of nitrogen whereas these bonds with hydrogen or with carbon these are our sp2 hybridized these things you should know and you should be able to write that uh, electronic configuration and the hybridization this will be beneficial for you to answer all kind of questions this is about structure of uh, pyrrole next now we should discuss about its resonance structure what is the resonance structure for this pyrrole so this is the structure of pyrrole double bond double bond and these two Before to that, I should tell something about aromaticity. As I told, all are sp2 hybridized. So all are sp2 hybridized. Since all are sp2 hybridized, their linkage will be in trigonal plane. Na, so all are in single plane. All are sp2 hybridized. All are in single plane. And there are totally two, four, six, six pi electrons. So they satisfy Huckel's rule. That is four n plus two pi electron. That is Huckel's rule. Since they satisfy this Huckel's rule, 
so all are planar and all are spitohepidai so these are aromatic so these are aromatic but these are heterocyclic because there is one hetero atom in the cycle so it is heterocyclic this is about aromaticity now we are interested in studying the resonance what is the resonance see these electrons in are in conjugation say they may undergo like this also so the next conjugated structure will be like this see the nitrogen gave electron so plus it gets negative here right now uh, like then double bond here see initially the compound was neutral there was no charge after that also it got positive charge as well as negative charge net charge is zero that is the compound is still neutral so it is conservation of charge charge cannot be created not be destroyed the next structure is see this electron shift here and this pi bond shift here so the next structure is like this minus here double bond here the next structure this electron shift here and and i have missed something isn't it no it is clear yeah then this will shift here yeah, no problem no doubt so the, my next canonical structure will be like this it shifted here double bond i got here and minus here and this has got a positive charge the next canonical structure it will shift here isn't it no i have missed something see if i watch clearly i am going to get now double bond i have missed here these two electrons jumped here no so i missed double bonds so the structure will be like this so here i got double bond here the negative charge was here this was the structure next this negative charge shifts here this double bond shifts here so I will get structure like this. Double bond is here because of this. I am getting double bond here, and this will becomes negative here. Then the next canonical structure is this will shift here. Okay. So it is like this. See, double bond is here, minus is here, and double bond. No doubt. Yes. The next canonical structure is this will shift here, and this the nitrogen is getting positive. This bond, because of this, the nitrogen becomes neutral. So our next structure is like this. Uh, it becomes neutral. Double bond is here because of this. Getting double bond here, nitrogen. So we got the same structure as before. We started with this structure, and uh, for because of all this canonical structure, we got the same structure. So this is resonance of this uh, pyrrole. In next class. we shall discuss about synthesis of pyrrole by different methods and then we shall move with its chemical properties and we shall end the discussion on pyrrole till then take care and have a great day bye